Hello there. In my day job, I create control software for active suspension systems. And with this channel, I aim to demystify racetrack setup, whether that's for sim racing or any other form of motorsport. Okay, we come to the final chapter of the um, fundamental theory course, uh, which is about lateral and longitudinal load transfer. So this is where uh, you mentioned yesterday, so um, when you brake, you, you feel the, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the, the load of the vehicle going forward. <laughs> <laughs> All the words do so academic. Uh -huh. I mean, what is lateral and longitudinal? Long ah. No. <laughs> oh, lateral is so from left to right, and longitudinal is front to back. Right. So lateral load transfer that is in cornering mm -hmm. and um, longitudinal that's in braking or accelerating. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, load transfer that's any deviation in the vertical load of the tires. Uh, and so this can be from, um, and, and typically it's a result of what the driver is doing. Mm -hmm. So this can be in braking, mm -hmm. uh, accelerating, or, or, or cornering. Um, oh yeah, some small, small animations. Uh, <laughs> and then there, there are three types, um, but we will only cover two types in this chapter. So the, um, it, it's possible to have a combination of these three types. And the very first type is a very weird one. Uh, we will not cover it. It's called cross weight jacking. Uh, so the other type is lateral. So this is in cornering where the outside uh, corner gets, um, mm -hmm. the outside tires Side get way. more. Yeah, the mm -hmm. outside tires get more load. And then uh, longitudinal, so say in braking, the front tires will get more load. Yeah. Um, and there are three components to load transfer. Mm -hmm. um, so the load transfer as a, as a total gets split into three components. Mm -hmm. The first component is called kinematic. So what? <laughs> Kinem kinematic. Okay. So uh, it's, it's just to say it's related to say movement uh, mm -hmm. or um, because yeah, kinematic is, is like related to move, but um, kinematic load transfer is the load transfer which happens directly through the suspension links, su suspension arms. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's like instantaneous. Mm -hmm. And the, the second type is called dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, so this is via dampers mm -hmm. and requires some uh, suspension velocity. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the last type is called elastic. So this is um, via these, uh, the springs and anti roll bars and requires there to be some suspension displacement. Mm -hmm. So there has to have been some movement for the elastic load transfer to happen. So, uh, so this three component means the load transfer can happen at these three locations or via three different ways? These are the three different ways. So they add up together to form the, the sum. Okay. Yeah. And the, um, so what I noticed is that uh, in nearly all of the books uh, that I've read and also all of the articles that I've read, um, people typically only mention two types. Mm -hmm. So they, and they kind of group the dynamic and the elastic together. Mm -hmm. um, but from my point of view, this is actually um, not correct because it's, it's, simplifying things too much because where um, elastic load transfer dominates, uh, the dynamic might be very low and where the dynamic load transfer could be uh, dominate, dominating, the, the elastic is low. So we will come to that later, but... These three uh, components do sound very abstract. Okay. Um, there will, yeah, I, I'll get into more detail in the, in the following slides. So first of all, um, why is load transfer important? Because it reduces the, the grip at the tires. Mm -hmm. So if 
um, if we think back to the chapter on tires. Hi there. The clip that you just watched is from a course called Fundamental Theory. It's one of the courses that I created for racetracksetup.com to help sim racers and anyone else interested in motorsport master racetrack setup as quickly as possible. If you're quick enough, this particular course might still be open for enrollment for free. If you enjoyed the video, then as the cheesy saying goes, like, subscribe and share.